and the founder and CEO of Tag Hive. Uh, we built Class Sati, a comprehensive learning platform. And we cover classrooms, we cover in, uh, in the home or at home learning. And we have built a technology that has software, hardware, AI and content. Let me first of all focus inside the classroom. So inside the classroom, these days we have interactive panels. Now what are these interactive panels used for? They're mostly perhaps used for showing YouTube videos or a few other things. But I think just like a smartphone could succeed because of the smart applications it had, I think even the smart boards in the classroom will have more applicability, more utility, if we build smart apps for the interactive boards. So we build a class of the application. Um, it can be used on any interactive panel, be it Android, Windows, or what have you. In this interface, as you can see, here, teachers have options to play, create, discover, and engage. So teachers, after they have taught something, uh, they can come to this application, they can create quizzes, and uh, for example, I taught something on uh, uh, my first chapter here, for example, I taught something on integers. I have all the questions on integers. Also, we break it down to different subtopics. For example, I want to know integer word problems. I can click on this and Class Sati will give you, this is all questions on Class Sati, made by Class Sati team. So we can choose, uh, if we can add the questions like this here. Also, if teachers want to add their own question, they can also come here and they can type their own question. Also, what we do is we provide the Genie uh, feature, which is an AI feature for creating questions. So teachers can either enter a web URL, you know, YouTube video, and our AI will create questions based on the content of that video. Also, teachers can upload a document. They can document, they can use a document that they already have on Sati resources, or they can upload a document from a mobile phone. So they can upload a document like this from a mobile phone, and uh, students uh, can then solve question on that topic. I'll show you one example here of the prompt. This is the third way. For example, you click here, I want some questions on uh, fractions and decimals. You click on that, you say, I want MCQ questions, you want five questions, you can choose the Bloom's taxonomy level, say apply. We do that and you can see here, uh, five questions being generated. It just takes around uh, 10 to 15 seconds to bring those questions on the system. One, question number two, question number three. You can see here some questions are getting generated here. So this question got generated right now. This is an AI generated question. Also, if you want to add an image, you can click on this. And looking at this question, what will happen is uh, the system will create some, will generate some images. For example, I just click on this one here as an example and do done here. And that question will show up here. So teachers can use the image, an audio file, a video file if they want to. As an, uh, as an extra media to let the students know more about the question. So this is the way we create the question. Also, they can use different, for example, if you are doing a math thing here, you would need all these operators. You know, you can choose anything here, all the functions, binomials, everything is possible in this class of the application. Um, and uh, you do that, you can also set the time here for each question, you can set the point for each question and all of that. Let me play a quick quiz with you. Uh, here, but before I go to the quiz, I would actually like to show you that in the resource section, we have a lot of materials. Textbook materials are here, past papers. Teachers, if they want to upload their own school's past papers, they can also upload it here. Think of it like one repository for all the teachers' documents. They can upload it and they can upload it from the computer or if they have a document on the mobile phone, they can upload it from that also, very easy, by scanning this QR code. So let's skip that right now. We have concept cards where teachers are teaching, for example, integers here. They know that there are four subtopics or sub competencies in each uh, chapter. They can click on this and they can look at this topic here and also play a video if they want to, which video is a relevant video from YouTube. And they can say, okay, let me challenge the class. Let me ask five questions if they want to, they can do that. So all of that is possible. Let's kind of solve five questions, for example, here. You click on this, immediately you come here in the quizzing board. And as you can see here, uh, the quiz will start, but students now, what will happen is the teachers have uh, given clickers. So I've not told you about clickers so far. So what our system does is we have software for the that for the interactive panel. We have content as you saw, we have AI, and we also have clickers. So this is the clicker. Um, of course, uh, these clickers are world first clickers because they use Bluetooth technology and we can 
bear unlimited amount of clickers 40 60 100 doesn't really matter so this clicker this bag this box has this bag which has 40 clickers arranged like this you can see here let me just show you an example this is roll number 31 it's added like this and we give you uh, five years warranty on this clicker so nothing will go bad uh, and this clicker basically has five buttons on the left side one two three four five or a b c d e an ox true false and a help button on the back side is the roll number and there's a small slot for battery we use a cr coin battery which lasts for around a year easily and it is all in-house made made by me i'm very proud about it because we had have no returns no damages so far on the clickers so today, for example, we start the quiz. Also for teacher, I showed you the student clicker. For teachers, we have a separate clicker, uh, this clicker. So we built this because we wanted the teachers to be moving around the class. So teachers don't have to stand here and click the button. For example, here you can see this button is start. So if I press this, the quiz will start immediately. Now this is the question that came, right? Uh, teachers are saying in a class test so and so forth. So we have student number one, he can press say I think option C is the right answer. The moment he presses the option button, the color of uh, the chip, roll number one chip becomes green, which means that the roll number one's response has been collected. Also, same thing with roll number two. The moment they press the button, it's collected. You can see the speed. And also the moment I solve the problem, I think, oh, maybe I did a wrong answer. Let me change my response. If the student, he pressed option C, as you saw, if he press other option, the color of this chip becomes a different color, which means the teacher should know that roll number two has changed the response. So there are a lot of details of this kind that we have put in here. And teachers can also say, okay, now let me pause the quiz here. They can pause the quiz with this button here. Quiz is paused, as you see. What teachers can do is now they can use the interactive board's uh, touch panel and say, okay, in a test containing 12 questions, they can highlight this, four marks are awarded. So they can do all of these things and also uh, do whatever equations are required, like 12 plus something, something, they can do that and they can save this. Once they save this, the beauty is that all of this work is saved in the teacher's uh, repository, which can then also be shared to the students if the teachers want to. They don't want to share, they can toggle the option and it will not be shared. So very easily it can be done. So let us see what the answer is. Uh, the answer is, you go here, you say the answer is A. Also what we do is we show you why A is the right answer with details and then we show you why B is not the right answer, why C is not the right answer and why D is not the right answer. So every uh, question has those kind of depth. So teachers can feel more empowered now that they have this kind of content with a lot of details and they can explain to remove any misunderstanding in the classroom. Okay, teachers can also see how many students responded uh, what option. For example, here nobody responded A, which was the right answer, nobody responded B, but two students, one and one, gave C and D as the answer. And they can go to the next question easily with this. Now, the next question is also running here. Similar question, but a different kind. You can see question number two, like this. So we'll end the quiz. Again, I can use this one here to end the quiz. We can see the question briefly, and uh, we, we can see here, we end the quiz, and uh, we go to the dashboard here i have disabled the leaderboard because some students some teachers asked for it but we can also enable the leaderboard to oops to see the score right because nobody gets the right answer so it's all not applicable but teachers can come here and see the view report also they can see the report one question two questions were solved and this is how it was right you can see the report student wise you can see the report question wise so that is the depth that we have created and you can also download the excel for future purpose in the teacher section, there's one more thing that is uh, the report section. Report section, we can see the strong topics, the weak topics, and then we can ask questions on those topics. We can also use Genie to create questions on a strong or a weak topic. You see here five questions are created. Of course, you can review the questions here and you can also uh, edit the questions if you want to and play the questions. Okay. That is how it's working. We also have a leaderboard for the teachers. Teachers can come and see here the leaderboard. There's, for example, this teacher here in this classroom is ranked number 184, and with so many points are there. You can see the top 10. These are actual schools, actually. We have Harvest Public School, Erudite Excel, all these schools who are using our product, and this is their ranking. They send certificates to the top teachers every month. So this is how it is. Um, so on the teacher side, there's a lot more things. Like, for example, we have, we have the discover function, which is about 
the teachers sharing the content with other teachers if they want to and engage which is a bunch of classroom tools for example if you come here you can actually use the class sati for creating teams so you have already a team here and you want to create a new team you write a new name for example team 2 or team Team Cat Two. If you just say like that, Team Cat Two, Category Two. You just come here. You save this. Okay. We have Team Cat Two here. You create teams. You say I want to create five teams. You distribute genders. You generate, and the teams will be created instantly. You can also move. Say if you want Daniel to be here, you want William to be here. All that is possible very seamlessly. You can do that. And there's a lot of bunch of features in that Class Sati uh, toolkit that I showed you. You know, you can go presenter here, stopwatch, spinner, dice, and a bunch of other things. So this is what a classroom would be looking like. Teachers use the interactive panel for a bunch of functions. They can come here, they can teach uh, using our whiteboard. They can uh, they can also do the quizzes, look at the reports, understand which teachers' students are not doing great, help those students to become better over time, and also give homework. Some of the things teachers that we have in our solution is personalized homework. Teachers give personalized homework to each child. Okay, for example, if you come here, uh, this is the last feature I will show you. You can come here. You say, "Okay, create." You say, "I want to create assignment." You create the assignment. You give a homework. And the best part is, we can give personalized homework to each child. You click, click, clear, uh, click here, all students. You click the chapter number one, and you do next. It says shuffle questions. Same set sort of questions for all students, or you see unique questions for each student depending on the levels. You do this, and you set the time here. Okay, you set the time to this and this, and you say okay. In a matter of few seconds, all the students get different questions. Round so number one gets these five questions. Round number two gets these five questions. Imagine that we have saved so much time for the teacher in not having to think about which students need what kind of question. It's all automatic, and they also don't have to correct these questions. It's self-corrected in that our system knows which is the right answer, and teachers would get the final report. Uh, about the student's performance overall. So this is how it works. We can assign the homework here, and the moment you assign the homework, this is the student application. Homework was for later date. So I'll go to maybe fourth. You see, one homework has popped up here. So I click on this, and I say, okay, start now. But I cannot start right now because this homework is for a later date. So I can do that. I know that it will show up on my calendar at a later date. Also, what we have done is in the in the student app, we have. All the subjects, math, geography, science, English, civics, and all subjects that are possible. The AI feature in this application is we have a tutor. So we have a tutor for each subject, not one tutor. So as many subjects as we have, we have that many tutors. For example, if you go to maths here, you have Sophia is the maths teacher. So children can ask any question. They can either ask the question by asking or by typing, or they can take a photo as well of. Uh, Uh, whatever they have doubt on the paper, and our AI will help them to uh, to get the students to the answer, right answer over time. So it just helps them to navigate the topic, and then they can get the answer uh, at their own in their own way. Because some students are great very fast, so they can, our system will treat them differently, and they will ask them more challenging questions. Some students are more uh, needing they are need they need more help, so our AI will ask them questions. in a more uh, easy way so that they don't feel uh, difficult and they can catch up the pace and finally become a good student over time so this is what we've done for the student they can come here to solve questions to do homeworks to use the tutor for asking questions and they can ask unlimited questions that's the beauty okay so this is the student piece also we understand that parents and administrators need some help so we have built a dashboard here this is the dashboard for um, for a real school emerald heights international school in indore you can see here that this school uh as a class 5 for example right now has a class score of so much global score is so much uh in the participation and assessment they are doing a great job for example here so this is uh, a dashboard that the admins can use in the in the classroom and in the office in the school to check what's going on so this is the parent this is the parent interface uh, so as you can see here uh, you know the student is Rini here, which is a student in the class, they would get homeworks. It would show up here. Average school, average performance at the school or at home is all possible here. They can get the report, and they can then guide the student to perform better. So this is how we have ensured that all the stakeholders, 
uh, teachers in the classroom, students in the classroom, students at home, admins and parents have something that connects to the students' performance and students' participation in the classroom. We did pilot tests at scale and we found that students' learning outcomes have increased by threefold. Uh, of course, classroom participation is 100%. We have right now class Sati deployed in around 10,000 classrooms across the globe, in India mostly. And what we have found is this graph is very important in that on the x-axis is the exam score of the students, on the y-axis is the uh, density of students. We found that without class Sati, the students scored as low as 20 and of course as high as 80, 85, 90. But with class Sati, the minimum score at any student score was around 40. So you would jump from 20 to 40. And imagine a student who was scoring 20 now gets 40, his motivation level or her motivation level can be so high. So we have basically shifted the curve to the right uh, for all the right reasons. And we are very proud about it because class Sati makes sure that every student participates in the classroom. And because they participate, they learn better. And especially the students who are not performing well now start to show performance. And we are excited about the future because we feel that we can further shift the curve because we have built so many tools uh, in Class Sati and we are excited about the future. So Class Sati end-to-end -end is a comprehensive platform that covers student, teachers, parents and admin. And it has a software, it has AI, it has content and also a hardware. So we are world first in that we have built a comprehensive platform. Uh, that can really make any classroom smarter and empowers every child and every teacher to learn awesomely and to teach effectively. Thank you so much.